In this Roblox Studio scripting tutorial, I am showing you how to get started with module scripts so that we can access the data store service in Roblox and save game data. Click the plus sign next to server storage and then add a module script. I'm going to call this module script player data. And likewise, let's rename module to player data manager. And this needs to be called the same as well. In order to save data in our game, we need to use data store service. Here, I am just setting up a taps variable, which we will use in this script. The first function I want to create is a function that saves the player's data when the player exits the game. For now, I want to check if this module script works. So I am adding in a print line to test it. I have placed this module script inside the server storage. The reason for that is because the Roblox documentation says this is the ideal place for it. With that in mind, how do we connect to this module script? Under server script service, click the plus sign and add a new script. Call it start script. The keyword in these three lines is require. To access a module script, we first must require it. Actually, if we run the game now, it still won't print out our test text. Because inside the module script, we didn't actually call the function yet. Let me show you how to do that right now. Since our function is a save on exit. In Roblox, we use player removing, which is triggered when the player leaves the game. Let's run this, and see if we can get it to print this line in the output. Nothing printed, but remember this is only triggered when the player leaves the game. So let's check. Yes, that worked. So that tells me, we were able to get inside our module script and run the function. When I am programming I always do this, first thing when troubleshooting is just checking that you are getting to the point in your program that you want. Then once you get there, you can do something. Guys, that's a setup for your module script and connecting to data stores, which will get you started. In the next video, I'm going to continue with this and actually save our data. I want to thank you for your support. I am at almost 1000 subscribers on YouTube, and I have lots planned for this channel. Here's some recent news. Intel Plays has asked me to create a Roblox game with him. And I started developing it this week. I expect this will impact my time and ability to post YouTube videos. So just a heads up, my content might be a bit slow for a few days to a week or two while I build this game. So stick around and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to showing you the Roblox game that we develop. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.